it's Stacey and today we're going to be making this really quick and easy vinyl zipper pouch. I'll show you exactly how to do it. You can find the instructions over on my website and I'll put the link in the description below as well as give you a few different measurements to try if you'd like to make smaller sizes or even bigger sizes. So let's get going. To make a vinyl zipper pouch you're going to need some vinyl and I've chosen 16 gauge vinyl. Vinyl comes in different gauges which basically means thicknesses. 16 is quite thick and the higher the number, the thicker it is. I thought 16 was perfect because it's quite thick and it will hold its shape, but it's not super thick, making it difficult to work with. So my piece here is 10 inches by 14 inches, and then I've got a 14 inch zip. So what we do is we turn it around and we're going to work on the shorter side. I'll take my zipper and we're going to face it right sides down now you'll notice that it's a lot longer than the width of my vinyl here and that's because it just makes it a little bit easier to work with when we're sewing because the vinyl's so stiff it's not like fabric just having that little bit of extra length in the zipper makes all the world of difference now while i'm talking about the zipper you can actually make these any size you'd like just have a play with different sizes but just make sure your zipper is about three inches longer than the width of your vinyl so getting back to the instructions, I'm going to place my zipper right sides down on the top of my vinyl and then I'm going to clip it into place with about the same amount of space on either side. So you can see I'm working well within the little clasp at the end here and at the top here. And then I'm just going to clip it into place and I'm just going to line up the vinyl with the edge of the zipper here. And it's, you can't see the vinyl, but I'm just using my finger to push up the vinyl against my finger and the zipper as well. And then I'm just going to clip it. We don't use pins because they'll pierce the vinyl. And if you'd like, you could actually put a bit of painter's tape or masking tape down just to make sure it stays in place. And this is completely optional, but it can help if you do struggle with zippers. So now we're just going to sew along that edge. Okay, so I'm going to stitch at stitch length 2.5. I've got my Gudeman thread on, which I like to use for everyday sewing projects. And I've got my zipper foot on. Now the zipper foot has two different bars. You can attach it to the left or the right. So just make sure you're attaching it so it's going to work for you. And now what I'm going to do is sew along this right hand side, right where the vinyl begins. And I'm going to stitch it quite close to the zipper. Now the vinyl is a bit sticky, so you just have to work with that and help it along sometimes. So I will do a back stitch and then I'm just going to carry along along this whole edge of my zipper. And then coming right up to the edge of the vinyl, I can see roughly where that is. I will, just will do a back stitch. And then I'll cut the threads. And then I'll just cut them at the top while I'm here, just to keep my project nice and tidy as I go. Now what I'll do is take off that masking tape or painter's tape. And then I'm going to take the zipper and fold it over and I'm going to give it a good finger press and now what I'm going to do is come along and sew along the top and do a top stitch. So my zipper foot is on the wrong side for me to do this so I'm just going to swap it over so it's sitting on the right hand side. And just like I said, giving that a finger press, making sure it's sitting nicely, I'm just going to pop that under. Working out the best line to use as my guide, I can see my needle will hit my foot if I use it right now. So I'm just going to adjust my needle. Starting at the edge of the vinyl. I'll just do a back stitch. 
and then I'm going to just stitch all the way along doing a nice decorative top stitch. It'll also mean that it will sit a little bit nicer as well when we're finished. Just my tails in the way there there we go and you can just check it as you go along making sure it is folded back nicely and I don't know if you can see that but I'm actually using the edge of my zipper foot there on the edge of where it's folded over as my guide so just work out the best guide for you When I come to the edge of my vinyl, I just will do a back stitch so it's going to be nice and secure. And then I'll just trim those threads again. Keeping our project nice and tidy as we go along. So can you see that? The stitch down here is my top stitch. And you can't really see the original stitch I did because it's underneath where we've folded over. So now we'll sew on the other side. So I've got the right side of the zipper facing up and then I'm just going to take the bottom of the vinyl, line it up with the top edge of the zipper here and on the sides as well. And it can be a little bit tricky because it's see-through and it's hard to see. So it's also helpful just to get your finger and run it along. And once you think it looks about right, you can just press it down and the vinyl sticks to itself, which is kind of handy. And then what I'm going to do is actually flip it around and then I'm just going to clip it into place because I find it easier to sew with the vinyl underneath. And now we'll just sew along that edge like we did the first time. So I just need to move my zipper foot back over to the other side. And all I'm going to do now is sew along that edge of the zipper just like I did before. So just starting at the edge of my vinyl, using the same guide that I did it when I originally did the other side. Remembering it is a little bit sticky, so you it kind of does tend to stick to the sewing machine. So just work with it the best you can. Oh, I'll move my needle back. I will do a back stitch. And then when I come down to the edge, I'll do another back stitch. And then I'll cut those threads. I do like to cut the threads as I go, just to keep it nice and tidy as I'm sewing. Okay, so now we're just going to open it up. So I'll grab the zipper and open it right up. And we need to do the top stitch on the second side. So finding the side that still needs the top stitch, I'll just spin that around and I'll give that a finger press. And we're just going to sew that down like we did on the first side. So I want to do exactly the same as I did last time. So I will just switch my foot over to the other side, making sure it's pressed down nicely. And then I'm just going to stitch along creating my top stitch. So I'll just move my needle over because I could see it was going to hit my foot again. And this is where it's handy having that little bit of extra room for the zipper. So it's giving me a nice little area to work in. So I'll just pop my foot down at the beginning of the vinyl. It's a little bit tricky because the vinyl wants to stick to the sewing machine. So I'll Oh, just do a couple of stitches, do a back stitch and then I'm going to stitch along and do the whole top stitch. Oh, I can see it's caught under my foot there, I'm just lifting that up and getting past it. And then when I get to the edge I'll do a back stitch. trimming the threads again so 
So I've got my zipper fully closed right now and it's still inside out. And what we're going to do is cut off the excess zipper. But we don't want to accidentally cut off our actual zipper piece there. So what we're going to do is just pull that in so it's inside our pouch. So can you see how I've done that? So oh, I'll do it a little bit more. So now I know when I cut it off, I'm not going to cut off my actual zipper piece. But what I am going to do is make sure the zip looks all nicely lined up. Pop a clip in. And then I'm going to cut off this excess here, lining it up with the edge of the vinyl. So I'm just going to flip it over because it's easier for me to work that way. And just trim it off. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. I don't need to worry about a clip. Just lining it up with the edge of my vinyl. And now what we're going to do is sew along both edges. And if you'd like to, you can just pop a clip in, lining up all the edges and just making sure it's all in place. So now I'll just sew along both edges. So now I've got my quarter inch foot on and I'm just gonna sew along that edge. Now we don't wanna hit that zip right at the top. So what I'll do to make sure I don't hit it is just lower my needle down with my hand wheel nice and slowly and that went in fine. So now I know I'm safe to go, but I will just go extra slowly. And it kind of is a bit sticky because of the final again and I'll do a back stitch nice and slowly and then I'll go forward all the way down and it's really sticky now because it's just vinyl on the foot and on the sewing machine can help to put your hand at the back just really gently easing it through. And then when I get to the end, I'm just going to stitch all the way off. We're not going to worry about a back stitch because we're going to cut that off. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Okay. So just trimming the threads. Now the last step that we need to do is cut off these corners and sew them closed. So now we just need to cut off a one inch square on both of the bottom corners here. So I've got my little ruler and I'm going to find the one inch mark and we're going to draw a one inch square off that corner there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that bottom line with the one inch on the bottom edge of my pouch here and then the one on the stitches, not on the edge of the vinyl. So I've got one lined up on the stitches and one lined up on the edge of the pouch and I'm just going to draw a line there. You might have to go over it a few times before the pen will work on the vinyl. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. All right, that's good enough for me to see just a cut. So I'm going to cut it. Now when I cut it, I'm going to cut on the other side of the line. I don't want the line to stay there because it is clear vinyl, we will see it. So I'm going to cut on this side of my line. And on this side of the line. And it is very faint. It is hard to draw on the vinyl, but I can see it. And then I'll do exactly the same on this side. So I'm going to make sure I'm on this side of the pen. So we're not going to see it when my pouch is finished. Okay. So now I've cut the two one inch squares off. What I'm going to do is carefully open that up. 
Now, my biggest tip at this point is to grab the seam where we've sewn and fold it over to one side as we open it up. Because if we don't, those stitches do tend to come undone. So we're opening it up. It can be a bit fiddly because the vinyl's sticking to itself here. Oh. And what I want to do, so I'm going to pinch those stitches so they can't come undone, is line that up. Okay, so we've opened it up and now we're just going to sew along that seam there. I can see I've got a little bit sticking out there, so I'm just going to trim that off. And if you'd like, you could just pop in a clip just to keep it in place before we sew. And then I'll do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to open it up. Fold that over so those stitches can't undo and then take this edge here and line it up with the folded edge so we get a nice two straight lines. It's a little bit fiddly because like I said the vinyl wants to stick to itself. Okay and then once you've got that sitting right just pop a clip in and now we're just going to sew along those two edges so I've still got my quarter inch foot on just remove that and I'm just going to start at the edge I will do a back stitch because this is what's going to keep it secure coming right up to the edge again and doing another back stitch And then trimming those threads and then I'll do exactly the same on the other side so just trimming the threads again so the last thing we're going to do is the zipper is fraying a bit here and that doesn't look very tidy. So what we're going to do is take a lighter and we're just going to singe it which will seal it off and stop it fraying. So all it needs is a little bit of heat. There we go. Now that's nice and tidy. And we'll do it to the other side. Just needs a little bit of heat. And now that's going to stop it from fraying anymore and makes it super tidy. So remember we did leave uh, the zipper open a little bit. So this is a bit fiddly. We're just going to push it open. Oh, and the vinyl wants to stick to itself. Okay, so once we've got it open, we'll turn it right sides out. Give those corners a good push. So they're sitting nicely. And on the other side, giving those corners a push so they're sitting really nice and flat. And then opening the rest out giving that zipper end a bit of a push up just helping it take shape and then we'll close it up and there's our vinyl zipper pouch so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial one thing I did forget to mention was how I did cut my vinyl now I actually use my rotary blade and my mat now I don't actually recommend that it was just because I know I'm about to change my blade and I wasn't too worried about blunting it. What you could do is just lay it out flat and rule the lines and then carefully cut them and remember to cut so you are not leaving that pen mark on the vinyl because you will see it. And for the needle, I used a standard needle, but I do plan to replace that now because it probably is a little bit blunt piercing through that vinyl. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're enjoying them, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.